All right, you guys, we're at the final episode. So cheers to all of you for this incredible journey. Uh, it's been absolutely insane. You know, as I mentioned, like starting off in a, I guess uh, in a room in the middle of like the Netherlands, like wondering whether or not it'd actually be successful or like how people would actually react to somebody trying to analyze a show, uh, specifically anime on the internet. Um, didn't think we'd get to, to this level and it's, you know, it's, it's, I'm trying to hold back tears and stuff a bit, but it, it is a bit, it, it is quite like, it's, it's quite a bit of a journey that we've all gone through. Um, they're, you know, going from like step one, just like putting something out there, uh, having my shitty laptop crash like 400 times. And I was trying to edit that first episode. I kid you not, that first episode is at least the unedited copy was around two and a half hours, three hours. It was long. It was a long, long episode originally, but had to cut that down. Um, and it, it, it is the end of technically ReZero for right now. We will be moving on to other anime and other video games and stuff. And to all the mods and everything, thank you for being a part of the journey. And all of you guys have started watching, you know, wherever you guys picked up. Even after the series is over, like, if you guys started watching, I appreciate it. And I hope that, like, my big deal out of starting this whole series and this whole journey and everything was quite literally, you know, mental health is not necessarily accessible to everyone. And there's still a lot of stigma. There's still a lot of, uh... Miscon like you know misinformation and weird stuff out there so i hope like even if it's just the self-care aspect that i try and bring up in every episode or something small like if you manage to even point out that hey you know what maybe attachments do play a role in something you know just picking one thing up like one little piece of knowledge or one little piece of information of like the many psychological themes that i've talked about throughout the episodes i'm glad and you know i hope that that helps you in the future even if you're having issues to look into uh further episodes and you know or like to further yourself better yourself in whatever way that means and for those of you that struggle from like severe depression anxiety whatever that may be and i know i put this post out there and i really do mean it like from the bottom of my heart like you know i'm proud of you guys like even just watching anime or getting out of bed or even if you're laying in bed and you just woke up like it takes a lot and no one will ever truly understand the struggle that anyone you know even here on the chat is going through but we can empathize and the best way that we can empathize is by you know saying that like you know taking it one step at a time it'll get easier and we're here for you and in case you guys ever need to vent for those of you that are here we have a discord feel free to drop on in i'm sure the mods will throw it up um feel free we have venting channels we have this whole set like network set up in order to help uh granted we're not going to give professional advice because none of the mods are you know neither myself but we will be there to help you vent give our opinions whatever it may be that can genuinely help you uh and others along the way and if you guys have any mental health questions you can always ask uh it's important to be open about all of that but with that being said, oh, well, I'm glad it's a very wholesome experience. With that being said, why don't we go ahead and get started? This is the finale. Cheers, guys. Last episode, yeah? Hello, YouTube. I'm pretty sure this whole explanation will still stay on there. Hello, Vimeo. Hello, Reddit. Apparently, apparently my video gets to spread around on Reddit and Twitter. Hi. <laughs> Wherever it's at. Uh, just know that this is the last episode of ReZero Season 2. <laughs> for the moment but we will be revisiting certain areas i will start reading the novel uh as i have time and uh, yeah just leave a message i guess the best comment that i can ask uh for this and this is sort of like my closing comment is like leave something that you've picked up along the show whatever episode you picked up a uh, psychological theme um self-care whatever it might may have been like what impacted you the most throughout our journey together that's genuinely what i'm curious about and you know even though this is the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a goodbye forever anyway let's go ahead and start the spot Oh, 
She is adorable. She is absolutely adorable, Subaru. Oh shit! Oh shit, let's go! Alright, let's go. Let's... Oh shit! Aight! It's like Gatling gun style here. <laughs> oh, oh! This is amazing. Oh, this is great. Gather them all in one spot, yeah, and then just blow them up. Oh, okay. When it comes to being beat, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first time. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Putting up a fence? I mean... Good way to do it. Good way to do it. Oh, confusion. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Damn, that was dark. Holy shit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. He literally pulled a Patrick. Let's grab these problems here and then push them over there. Like, you know, that was really, 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 really smart. It's uh, nice to see the combination and the, uh, like the dynamic the chemistry between all like you know how they were fighting that's just well yeah one they can if she can reopen that dimension another day and use it that would be extremely smart but uh yeah that's that's pretty fucking cool i i will say it myself i am kind of blown away by just like the intensity of that fight and the way that they actually managed to solve it that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable, my heart. Uh, uh, damn, what a way to do it. <laughs> Pico! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. There's so much emotion here. It's like, uh, <laughs> little different, but I, <laughs> y'all have a lot you need to chat, like, touch up on. ごくえ、ま、絶対に呼びつんなら、俺もそればっかの気がすんだけどな。うん。いや、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま
she had to go for milk or something before she said that line. Like, I had, I was predicting it because it's like I said that like a couple. I think the previous episode I uploaded to YouTube. I'm um, like, you have to take into consideration <laughs> like cultural considerations around hand holding or kissing and all of that, right? Because each culture has a different meaning behind it. I didn't expect it to go to like having a baby. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, she accepted that so quickly. Puck, what are you teaching? <laughs> Jeez, that was a. Not the greatest thing to teach to someone that's so naive. Maybe biology, maybe sex education is really needed here. You know, like, let's touch a little bit more on that subject rather than like, yeah, like the moment that you kiss a boy, you get like, you know, oof. And even if the biology was different, again, this is something that you should investigate and understand, so... Oh shit, what you gonna do? Oh, you got tatted up? Shit. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, that's cool and all, but that doesn't mean shit. Hi. Covenant, nice. He's quite wild. Can't do anything normally. What happened to her? She just disappeared. Okay, anyone here? Nice. Nice is actually... Yeah, what's up with that? You're still too naive, but okay, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, but does he say it and mean it though? That's such a big difference. Hey. <laughs> Okay, let me pause it right here. That's such a big, like, I don't know. It, it's awesome to, to have Roswell on your side, and I know that, like, going in the future, that can definitely help. Uh, but, like, if someone commits something, you know, like, any form of action or whatever, and you're like, you haven't said the most important thing to say sorry, at that point, it's like, might be a little late. Granted, there are more pressing circumstances to go ahead and push for, right? But, like, that should come out of them. Like, the moment that you bring something up, like, oh, you haven't said sorry, at that point, it's more like a uh, push than, like, an actual, uh, yeah, than anything else. That's the best way that I can put it. Like, if you're facing your enemies, like, you know, you gotta sing. Okay. So here's, <laughs> in an anime setting, yes, in real life, no, right? Because saying sorry does, don't mean crap. What means that something is the actions that a person is willing to take, right? Just because someone says sorry doesn't mean that it's going to fix everything magically, right? Or that it appeases certain situations. Like, if someone says sorry and they don't mean it, then what good is a sorry for? Sorry should be used in the se like way or the sentence that, like, uh, how, how would you put it? If it actually means something to you, you use it. Otherwise, it loses its meaning. It's the same thing with I love you. 
right? Like you, like if someone that overuses, I love you, it loses its meaning. Uh, but if someone says it, like when they actually feel it, it's a lot more impactful. Your actions or that, like you communicate through your love language, so on and so forth, carry forward the meaning as well. Same thing with the whole sorry situation there. Apol like apologizing through your actions, apologizing through whatever needs to, needs to be done. But like, that's the thing is like, you know, wh whatever ends up happening, like, you know, even in, in daily life, like, sorry, I love you. Even in daily life, like there are situations where I'm sure everyone at some point has apologized for something that they didn't mean to do. Right. Um, or that like, they just apologize and that there was really no intention behind it. So that's, that's the real situation there. It's like your words have more meaning that they, than they imply. And if you're going to go ahead and like, you know, be a ruler of a country someday, like with that in mind, some nations aren't going to go ahead and apologize to you or send formal apologies and said their actions will actually at least, um, yeah. And, and I think 3D Void is hitting this just right. It's like, don't be sorry, be better or act better, like step up your game. That's probably the best way that you can do it. And I think like, if you ever go into a therapist setting, that's sort of the big thing that like, they'll say, for example, if you ever get mad at a therapist and you yell at them, curse at them, whatever it may be, because of your attachments or whatever, we're not going to be like, oh no, like, you know, uh, you know, he, you got to say, sorry, we're going to be like, all right, like, you know, I thank you for saying sorry, but like, we want to see that through your actions. We want to see you improve, you know? Because incognito, the moment that someone pushes you, like after you fucked up, right? And someone's like, say sorry. At that point, it's literally putting pressure onto you to meet an expectation. If that's not coming out of you naturally, then clearly it's not defined immediately. So that's why, like, the, the big purpose of that, the... <laughs> The big purpose of saying sorry is to actually do it with the intent of change or start changing and then apologize. Have time to process what happened. Apologize for your actions as it happened. You know, like saying it immediately after doing something bad is also a little rare or in a group setting and putting pressure is a little weird. Oh, okay. A rented space. <laughs> so he does have branch families. There we go. <laughs> of course you will. You're kind of a creep, dude. Oh, dang. Okay. He's officially at night? It just like finally hit me like, holy shit, he's officially at night? Like, damn. I thought this was going to happen like next season or something. Aww. <laughs> there we go oh i got fucking chills with that let's go dude oh <laughs> oh, he's officially a knight. I mean, as best as they can. <laughs> Yeah, I have the feeling shit's about to go down harder. <laughs> yeah, full moons can never be a good sign here. That's, uh... 
Where is it going to go wrong here? <laughs> yeah, this is such a big change, though, altogether. The character development, this whole show has been amazing. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh! This is such a good ending, though. Oh, Beatrice Petra, Petra, there. <laughs> At least they found a friend. And then boom, regular shows up out of nowhere and steals your girl. Right? Is that how this goes down? It's too calm. It's too calm. But good. At least closure for a day. Aww. Is that the end? Wow, okay. What an ending. Yeah, it actually ended with a happy ending. I'm surprised. I was expecting the worst. Oof. Like, oh, oh, that's a cute photo. Oh, like, I, I don't doubt that, like, there's a lot more that's coming, obviously. Who is Rem? Yeah, that wasn't at the ending of the first season. Mm. Turns out there's like a hidden ending here, and it's like Rem waking up and being like, you know, you're not my hero. No one's my hero. Or like some stupid thing. Or Rem wakes up and she doesn't remember anyone. Ah, oh, it ended. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking there was going to be like a cheap shot ending or something like this here. I was so excited for it. I was like, let's go. You guys keep hyping up that there's like nothing. But yeah, it just ended, up, ended like that. That was good. That was good. Oh. Okay, that, my heart. Yeah, Rem slept through the whole season. She got a lot of screen time this, like, you know, this season, as you can tell. But anyway, <laughs> based Rem. What I will say is this, it's been an absolute pleasure to go ahead and, like, uh, go through this and being able to go and, uh, I don't know, just go, like, place by place and start understanding like what's been happening and um see the characters grow see the development of everyone and everything there um my best thing for all of you guys on youtube and for like in, in the future it's like what is sort of like the best area that you know you guys are sort of surprised about uh that like popped up and you know sort of the rationale behind it because like there was a lot that even i'm shocked about pandora being the number one thing where i actually did a spit take and like it landed all over my monitors and i had to clean them up like that was insane i actually didn't think that it'd go in that direction but it did and i'm pleasantly surprised um but yeah there's a lot more coming coming down the line in the future uh there's gonna be new anime starting up soon so you guys should start seeing that pop up uh as well but yeah, that was that was a lot. I I honestly feel drained. I'm happy, but drained that like you know we went through everything. So, yeah, that's the best way. Yeah, Pandora was. But my thing is like I was really working with just like the Greek story of it because the archbishops is like it could either be Dante's Inferno when you're talking about sins, or you can go with like the Greek origin of where like certain things came from, right? So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna start throwing like you know talking about it because it was like quite realistic about uh, the scenarios that popped up. But with that being said, please practice some self care, guys, especially you guys on Twitch. Be safe. Uh, and then next week, every Friday, you'll see me streaming on here. It's either going to be a video game, anime, or something that's uh, that, that'll be there. 
So I really, really appreciate you guys. Have a great night. Practice that self-care. And yeah, that was the end of ReZero, which was amazing. So I hope to see you guys in the next anime. Talk to you guys later.